Governor DeWine signed amended substitute House Bill 197 into law. This law is in response to health risks associated with the coronavirus outbreak. Among other things, the law allows public bodies such as boards of education to conduct their meetings using telephone conference, video conference, or other similar technologies. The law became effective on March 27, 2020. At the March 30, 2020 board meeting, the West Yaga Board of Education approved a resolution to suspend portions of certain bylaws, which were not consistent with board meetings by telephone conference or video conference. A second resolution was passed December 14, 2020, extending the board's ability to meet via electronic means until July 1, 2021. This meeting is a, is a meeting of the West Yaga Local School District Board of Education in public for the purpose of conducting the West Yaga Local School District's business and is not to be considered a public community meeting. There is a time for public participation during the meeting as indicated in the agenda. Please use the chat room function located at the bottom of the webpage if you would like to be recognized for public participation. We call the roll, please. Mr. Rainey. Here. Ms. Leavenworth. Yes. Mr. Beers. Yes. Mr. Katowski. Yes. Mr. Thorison. Yes. Okay. Mr. Kish will share his screen. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag. The flag. United of the United States, States of America to the republic, and to the republic which it for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice, justice for, all. for all. Okay. Ben, you weren't standing up. Give me a second here. <laughs> Motion to approve the agenda with no changes. <laughs> so moved. Will, please. Dr. Beers? Yes. Mr. Katowski? Yes. Ms. Leavenworth? Yes. Mr. Ramey? Yes. Mr. Thorson? Yes. All right. There are no program reports. No, nothing in the chat. Routine items. Resolution 55 to approve routine matters of the West Yaka Local Board of Education to include the December 2020 financial statements and the January minutes. So moved. Second. I would Taking like to right make here. a few comments on the financials. We ended the month of Janu uh, December with $24,714,000 in the bank. Uh, our range of investments are running around. We have some of our CDs that are still getting over 2%. Those are very few, and then the rest are about one, one and a half, and then the rest of those investments are under 1%. Those are continuing to decline. Uh, as the CDs come due, we'll lose that interest, and we'll see that in our other revenue line. If you look at the operations report, we are six months through the, our annual uh, fiscal year. Uh, if we look at what we've already talked about in the difference between the actual 2021 and the actual 2020 revenues, we see the impact of the, of the Newberry consolidation or the, of the territory transfer. We had anticipated about $5 million in tax revenues coming from Newberry. Uh, those are, we're right at that amount. We're about half of those, $2.5 million. If you look at the unrestricted grants and aid, we're having some movement in this. And this is um, due to some of the uh, COVID relief funds coming from the, back from the governor. So if you recall, we were um, going to lose about $675,000 from budget cuts. We did get some back, about $270,000 from House Bill 164. We were told today that we're going to receive um, about $222,000 back from those cuts. So we'll have a negative, you know, about a cut of about $200,000 uh, from what we had anticipated, but we're going to re receive some of that money as well. We're also going to get our second wave of ESSER uh, funding. This is that COVID relief package that they passed in um, December. And that's going to be closer to 400 and something thousand dollars. 
So uh, that money is going to be used over 2021, 22, and into 23 if, if we need it, uh, if it lasts that long. But we're waiting for some, um, really some information on how we are able to spend that money as we look at the future of what, um, what our needs are going to be as we open up school. You know, can, you know we're, we're open now, but as schools are opening up in March, um, we want to make sure we have everything in place for those uh, openings. And Mark's done a great job in getting us ready for that, but um, we'll, we'll have to use that money uh, throughout 20, the next year. As we look at the um, budget compared to our actual performance, we do see that our we have a we're you know at sixteen thousand dollars off from our budget we look in total. We are very favorable on our expenditures. Part of that is in the personnel area where we've had some uh, delays in hiring of some personnel that we um, weren't able to find yet. And then if we look at our employee re retirement and insurance benefits. We had anticipated unemployment claims coming from Newberry that we just haven't seen yet. So we are experiencing lower than expected unemployment insurance. However, we are having a bit of fraud as the rest of Ohio is. There is an FBI investigation, not for just us, but in the total for the state of Ohio uh, for unemployment fraud that has hit a couple of our employees. About a handful of our employees have had that uh, filed against them, uh, but there's been numerous, numerous ones filed for unemployment fraud. So they're investigating that for the state of Ohio. If we look at uh, one thing that we've been focused on is food services um, due to the fact that we are offering or continuing to offer our summer option program where we do offer a free meal for any student who wants that and then receive a federal subsidy. If you look at that year to date, we've received $92,593. We did uh, have to make a transfer of $50,000 uh, to offset the loss of student lunch revenue. Our expenditures um, were running about $60,000 for payroll, benefits about another thirty-seven, dollars and then supplies about $58,000. So we have a negative balance of about $23,000. Had we not made the transfer, we would have been negative $73,000. We started the year with a $78,000 fund balance, so we were we're, we've eroded that balance. So we're continuing to watch this. I know uh, we're gonna receive about $35,000 um, for the, um, as you look at uh, on average about that, um, January will have a, a full month, February will miss a little bit. So we'll see um, that run about the same. So we're continuing to monitor that as we uh, go throughout the year. But Kelly and Michelle have done a great job in uh, getting that implemented. And that is my report. If we have any questions from the board, certainly I'll take those questions now. Uh, Karen, you're not including this this uh, certified substitute list? Yes, I did include that. I'm okay, you, you didn't mention that. No. No. Okay. Yes, those three that we have there are included as well. Okay. Thank you. Any else? Okay. Call the roll, please. Um, yes, Mr. Rainey? Yes. Mr. Thorson? Yes. Dr. Beers? Yes. Mr. Katowski? Yes. Ms. Levenworth? Yes. Resolution 56 to approve warrants for the December 2020 month. So move. <clears throat> Second. Anything? Call the roll, please. Mr. Thorson? Yes. Dr. Beers? Yes. Mr. Katowski? Yes. Ms. Leavenworth? Yes. Mr. Ramey? Yes. Resolution 57 to approve student activity statements of purpose and budget for the 2021 school year. So move. Second. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Dr. Beers? Yes. Mr. Katowski? Yes. Ms. Leavenworth? Yes. Mr. Ramey? Yes. Mr. Thorson? Yes. Resolution 58 to approve, accept a donation from m, m Insurance Group. So moved. Second. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Katowski? Yes. Ms. Leavenworth? Yes. Mr. Rainey? Yes. Mr. Thorson? Yes. Dr. Beers? Yes. Resolution 59 to extend certain of the FICRA's provisions until March 31st, 2021. So moved. Second. 
just a few comments on this. This is the what the uh, FICRA stands for the Families First Corona Response Act. This act actually expired in 12 at the end of December 31st. What we're doing is extending those same provisions except for the child care component of that provision uh, through March 31st, uh, 2021. So this will include the expanded uh, paid leave, paid sick leave act. Any questions? So this is something that we're doing. It isn't a, a federal thing at this point? No, it's voluntary. It's yeah. not required. Uh, they are extending, if we were to be a private company, they're extending the, the tax credits associated with that. As a government employee, obviously we don't pay taxes, so we're, we don't get the benefit of those tax credits. This is something that we're allowing our um, employees to use instead of using their own sick leave. Yeah. So this will be, um, and they're able to <clears throat> use it one time only. So if they've already used it, they won't be eligible for extension, uh, but it'll be 10 days that we allow on sick leave to be paid. Any others? Call the roll, please. Ms. Leavenworth? Yes. Mr. Ramey? Yes. Mr. Thorson? Yes. Dr. Beers? Yes. Mr. Katowski? Yes. Dr. Marquardt? Resolution 60 is a resolution to approve administrative salaries. So move. Second. Second. Discussion, questions? This is, uh, this is something that the board put together to show our, our to show our appreciation and how much we value the administrative team. Thank you. Call the roll, please. Mr. Ramey. Yes. Mr. Thorson. Yes. Dr. Beers. Yes. Mr. Katowski. Yes. Ms. Leavenworth. Yes. Resolution 61 is a resolution to approve supervisor salaries. So moved. Second. Questions? Same goes here. Call the roll, please. Mr. Thorson. Yes. Dr. Beers. Yes. Mr. Katowski. Yes. Ms. Leavenworth. Yes. Mr. Ramey. Yes. Resolution 62 is a resolution to approve administrative contract recommendations. So move. Second. Questions, comments? I think uh, it's important to point out that, uh, you know, we've got here a couple of people that we really think are important to the, the team of administrators that we have assembled that are doing a, um, the whole team is doing a good job. And here's a couple of people in particular whose contracts we can, can act upon and, and uh, emphasize the, uh, the importance of the, the team that has been assembled. In the, the time that I've been on the board, um, I really feel strongly that th this group of administrators we have right now is probably the best group that I've seen. Uh, we've had good ones at various places in the past, various um, positions, but uh, just as a whole, I think that uh, we're really fortunate to have the group that we've got now. Thank you. Thank you. I think you speak for the entire board on that one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Call the roll, please. Dr. Beers. Yes. Mr. Katowski. Yes. Ms. Leavenworth. Yes. Mr. Ramey? Yes. Mr. Thorson? Yes. Resolution 63 is to approve classified staff appointment for the 2020-2021 school year. So move. Second. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Katowski? Yes. Ms. Leavenworth? Yes. Mr. Ramey? Yes. Mr. Thorson? Yes. Dr. Beers? Yes. Resolution 64 is to approve a change in classified staff contract for the 2020-2021 school year. So move. Second. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Ms. Leavenworth? Yes. Mr. Ramey? Yes. Mr. Thorson? Yes. Dr. Beers? Yes. Mr. Kostowski? Yes. Resolution 65 is to approve a supplemental contract for the 2020-2021 school year. 
So move. move. Second. You're too fast, Karen. I second it. I've got it. Yeah. You ready for roll call? Cat is frozen. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Discussion. Okay. Am I back? You're back. You're back. You're back. Call the roll, please. Mr. Oh, my connection is unstable. Sorry. Yes. Mr. Thorson? Yep. Dr. Beers? Yes. Mr. Kotowski? Yes. Ms. Levelmore? Yes. Resolution 66 is to approve an exchange of service agreement and a school nurse internship for the 2020-2021 school year. So moved. Second. Is this something new for us? Yes. Yeah. We've not had a nurse intern uh, since I've been here, so it's new to me. So we have an agreement that uh, we need to basically for liability purposes and then Joy has uh, agreed to be the mentor here for this uh, nurse intern. Since Karen's been here longer than I have, it's obviously new to me. <laughs> All the roll, please. Mr. Thorson. Yes. Dr. Beers. Yes. Mr. Kotowski. Yes. Ms. Leavenworth. Yes. Ms. Mr. Ramey. Yes. It's all you, Rich. Hey, well, my report's short tonight. Uh, first, I guess I should uh, mention my appreciation again to the efforts of, of everyone on the West G staff and of our families so that we're able to keep our schools in session five days a week. Um, many area students right now are, are out of school. Um, some have gone remote for an extended period of time. Fortunately, due to our collective efforts, um, we are able to keep our schools open. And our COVID count is, is low as of today. We had two active student cases and one active staff case, which compares favorably to um, many other school districts. Uh, I had mentioned that I would get a, a tentative timeline for the study that's being done for highest and best use related to the Newberry campus. Um, Mr. Hollister from um, Newmark Real Estate of Ohio LLC did send us uh, some information. Just, I believe it came in today. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Sean, it may have come in yesterday, but I believe it was today, in which he had speculated that within three weeks, um, we would have enough information based upon the scope of the wetland study and the environmental study to project um, some semblance of, of um, predictability related to the, the future of the property and the potential uses of the property. Um, at this stage of the game, obviously the timeline hinges on the um, obtaining of the wetland study and the completion of the wetland study and also the environmental study. And if the environmental study has to enter a phase two, it could push that back a, a bit further. But he felt that an optimum time for him to give an update to the board would be in approximately three weeks which would place us obviously at the second board meeting in February. Uh, if the board is so inclined, I would be happy to have him come and, and give an update on the progress he's made up to this point in time and, and how long he feels that the entire process will entail. Yeah, if he's, if he's ready, put it, on the, put it on the agenda. I will keep the board advised uh, to that fact, but he is moving forward with this um, and we are um, prepared to begin the wetland study and the, um, and the environmental study very soon. Good. That's it for me. That's it for you? Wow, okay. And the, uh, I have no board reports. Are there any board reports that the other members wish to present? Yeah. Um, just real quick, uh, Chad, we talked about committees. Um, you and I were on the finance committee. Will that right. change to you and I will stay on that or Bill and I or? Um, I sent out an email saying I was going to keep the committees. I, I was going to let the committees ride for, for a while. Okay. We decided to, to change them up. So, it's, so for now, everybody, everything is status quo. Okay. Because Karen and I enjoy our time together. We do. <laughs> I've heard that, and I've noticed the I've noticed the dynamic between you. And, and, uh, it's taken years, but Karen and I really have a good good system rolling. I'm glad to hear it. It was never about respect, Karen. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow. Okay. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> I, always I think it's better, it's better left ability. unexplored. I always respected her abilities and her intelligence. It just was a matter of, um, I don't know. I, I just had some ideas of where I wanted things to go. <laughs> but we've worked through it, haven't we, Karen? We have indeed. All right. So for the time. We're going my way. <laughs> Wow, you just slipped it in between the fourth and the fifth ribs, didn't you? Um, <laughs> all right, so for the time being, the uh, the committees will will stay the same. And now we will need a resolution to adjourn to executive session for personnel matters involving discipline and compensation and for the purchase or sale of property. So moved. Second. Please just second. I am. Dan. Okay. And there will be action taken when we come back, right, Chet? You beat me to it. No. Okay. Yes. We will <laughs> take, you know, there will be a, a couple <laughs> of votes when we return from executive session. So I yeah, she is the president of vice, remember. I'm sorry? She is the president of vice, remember. Yeah. <laughs> I admired that about her, her, her grasp of vice. Okay, can I get a roll call, please? Dr. Beers? Yes. Ms. Gontowski? Yes. Ms. Leavenworth? Yes. Mr. Ramey? Yes. Mr. Thorson? Yes. Okay. Okay, and we will invite Rich and Karen with us. So let's, so let's move on. How do ben, we do mute. this? How we are back this? in regular yeah. session. So you have uh, proposals for resolution 68. Right. So what do you need, just the number? I do need the number. It's the higher number. Okay. So 63. 433. I've yes. forgotten it already. Well, now I, now that. All right, if resolution. And now I need a motion. Yeah. So move. Second. Second. And now I need a roll call. Mr. Kodowski. Don mute. Mute. Mute, Ben. Yes. Ms. Leavenworth? Yes. Mr. Ramey? Yes. Mr. Thorson? Yes. Dr. Beers? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Do I read the next one? Or just can't? Uh, they're board resolutions, so perhaps the board president or someone on the board could read that. Sounds good. Okay. Be it resolved that the Board of Education of the West Yaga Local School District hereby approves the board action to modify the employment agreement of the treasurer as set forth in the attached. So move. Second. And the roll call. Wait, do we, we is this what we want to discuss? Oh, wait, do, we have a, do we have a question? Yes. You're Karen, to is, is this? Is this an identical contract to the one you have, except we're not, for currently? We're not quite there yet. We're not. We're, we're not, not there yet? yet. No, that's the next one. That's the next one. Okay. Okay. I'm confused. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're both employment agreements. This will so, be the. Uh, so if you if you the raise is in the yes the raise is in the first one, and then the oh. extension would be the second one. All right. Okay. Great. That's that's yes. You, you got to click. Got it. That. Roll call. So now we can do a roll call. Ms. Leavenworth? Yes. Mr. Ramey? Yes. Mr. Thorson? Yes. Dr. Beers? Yes. Mr. Kotowski? Yes. Okay, so now we get to the next one, which is, oh lordy. Be it resolved, the board desires to secure Karen Pavlat as its treasurer for the term commencing August 1st, 2022 and expiring July 20, 31st, 2027 and Ms. Pavlet has expressed her desire to serve in this position for this term. Now, therefore, let it be, be it resolved by the Board of Education of the West Geauga Local School District, County of Geauga, State of Ohio, that section one, the Board of Education hereby renews the employment of Karen Pavlet as treasurer of the West Geauga Local School District for the term commencing August 1st, 2022 and expiring July 31st, 2027 under the contract set forth attached. 
Section two, the Board of Education authorizes the board president and superintendent to execute the treasurer contract set forth attached on behalf of the West Yaga Local School District Board of Education. Section three, it is found and determined that all formal actions of the board concerning and relating to the adoption of this resolution were adopted in an open meeting of the board and that all deliberations of the board and any of its committees that resulted in such formal action were in meetings in compliance with all legal requirements, including revised code 21.22. And I need a motion. So moved. Second. And I believe I'll let Ben I'll let Ben ask the question he wanted to ask. Well, a question that was on everyone's mind, Karen. Um, are the terms of the contract, the extension, are they identical to the terms that you now have? Yes. Your contract. Except for the the language that was underlined. If you recall, Ben, you wanted to make sure the annuity was, I could only put it into an annuity. I couldn't take that as compensation. So that is what's underlined. So that will be an annuity, but the terms are exactly the same. Okay. That no will problem. resolve the SERS question that they had in play, that they had listed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, Thanks, Karen. The reason why that was a con concern as far as taking it as an uh, SC, SCRS had questioned they they wanted it to be uh, into an its own annuity. That's our retirement system. Yeah. Okay. Any concern? Huh. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Are you guys satisfied? Yeah. Yep. All right, roll call, please. Mr. Ramey? Yes. Mr. Thorson? Yes. Dr. Beers? Yes. Mr. Gatowski? Yes. Ms. Leveling? Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, and so the next board meeting, Monday, February 8th, 2021 at 7 p.m., same Zoom. Place. But my big question is, how are we going to have a cake for me and for Rich? <laughs> I know. I'm going to delegate that. <laughs> Maybe uh, Amazon will deliver a slice of whole food cake to every whole one foods. of us. Whole foods. We've got whole foods. All right. yeah, it'll, it'll take two weeks for it to get here. <laughs> yeah, it won't be it's fresh. fresh. No, well, be, it'll be fruit no, cake. No, no. That'd be fine. Crime. <laughs> Prime, Prime will get it there. Okay. No. SBS. All right. I need a resolution adjourn. to adjourn. So, so moved. Second. <laughs> well, we can do a roll call. Mr. Thorson? Yes. Dr. Beers? Yes. Mr. Kotowski? Yes. Ms. Leavenworth? Yes. Mr. Ramey? Yes.